Welcome to the Elevate Everyday Podcast. I'm your host, Kay Junker, Thailand Fitness Junkie Training. And today we have a badass guest, another badass guest on the episode. We've got the kingmaker, Carlo, um, really cool guy. He's all about career development. But what we really connected on was how fitness, career development, and relationships all go together. You've, you've got to have all aspects, aspects working together to really feel fulfilled and be living your purpose in life. So really excited to have you on, Carlo. Thanks for coming on, man. Uh, and let's get right into it. So number one, like what makes you the kingmaker? I love that name, by the way, but what makes you the kingmaker and how are you turning men into kings? What does that really mean? Absolutely. So first of all, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, really, really grateful to be here and, and uh, serve you, you and, and your community. So I suppose, I suppose the term kingmaker, it, it's all about uh, helping people to to become that ultimate version of themselves uh, in, in a world where so much of everything that is going on it's it's all about conformity and just being just like everyone else. Uh, I suppose the kingmaker it's about it's about the four big areas of life. So to me, those are relationships with my partner, my, my wife, my kids, my body, and money. Right and to, to help someone become the king, it's about helping them become a 10 out of 10 version of themselves in every single part of, of life and in, and in that way. So uh, the, way, the way that we do it is, is to, through, I mean, fitness is a big part. That's why we connected because in order, in order to master yourself, you need to master your body. And in order to master your body, you need to master your mind. Mm -hmm. um, so so we, we, help, we help dudes to, men and women, we work with both, right? But majority is dudes. Uh, to, to really leave what we call the little bit self, right? We, we leave, leave the little bit self behind, <laughs> which it's not just this egoistical thing that we talk about and yell about. It's, it's that really quiet little version of you that stops you doing the stuff that you know you need to do. You know right. you're capable. It's the, the little thing that comes in that, you know, when there's time to invest money, it, it's the scarcity. It's right. time to say what needs to be said. And, and it just retreats and shrinks. Yeah. We, don't want, we don't want men to shrink. We want them to expand with life and become everything that they can be so that they can have the life that they know deep down, they know they could have. Absolutely. That's awesome. And one thing I wanted to hone in on with that point, you know, and I love what you're doing. I completely am in align with that 100% resonate with you. But, you know, I come across a lot of people they are like, I need to focus on my business, right? I'm not in a season where a season where I can focus on my fitness right now, or like, you know, I'm about to get married. I can't, can't be focused on my fitness or I can't be focused on my career as much right now. Like I'm, I'm worried about, you know, getting married and, uh, and having a big wedding and stuff like this, you know, how can someone escape that mindset and adopt the mindset of all these things go together? Right. How, how can someone escape the, that scarcity mindset that you're saying of like, you know, I can only do this or that. And how can they adopt? Well, well it's, it's bullshit, right? right? Like it's 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 lies. It, it, that's that's what it is. You're just making an excuse. It's, it's all bullshit. It's the because if you, right? And I get that all the time. Right. Because if you want to grow your business, you need to you need to be jacked. You need to be in a great shape. If you're not jacked, you should be working towards getting jacked. Right. Mm -hmm. Everyone should have your body. Right. And the reason for that is that in order for you to get that body, right, you, you have to have certain traits and you have to develop certain traits. Now, the same traits that you used to develop that body are the same traits that are required to build a successful business. Now, a lot of people that I see in the fitness industry, they've got their body down pat, but they haven't got the money down pat. Right. Right. And so there's an imbalance. Right. It's bullshit because yeah. it's all excuses. It's the yeah. same as relationships. Right, there's times in your relationships where things get hard. I'm not the kind of person that quits. I'm not the per I'm I'm not the kind of person that has a plan B. Like, no, I'm in this committed relationship. Yeah, I need to be committed. How can I be committed to to my wife if I'm not committed to my body and to myself? Exactly. How can I be the dad that I want to be if I'm not the man that I I, I cannot be that? And then we start making excuses. We can't. We start playing stories in our head. Oh, I don't have time. No bullshit do yeah. the thing and you will discover so much more about yourself it's personal development right you but people go into personal development and they you know they keep it all in here they never actually get it in their hands and in their heart mm -hmm. right 
So I say fitness um, and money. I think money is probably for, through my experience has been, it's probably the biggest form of personal development yeah. because both fitness in order for you to get to the gym every single morning, every single day, consistently thousand days in a row, dude, it takes, it takes a lot of work and it's in the implementation that we find the gift. And so, you know, people master the body, but once people master money and relationships and go through those forms, that's when you get that version of you. And the reason I know I'm kind of getting a bit of attention, but the reason why we want to do these four things is because it elevates every part of life. And then you start to play to your potential right. and you stop stopping and not doing stuff because oh, I want to take my shirt off at the beach, but I can't because I'm fat. Right. Yeah. Or I want to take my kids on that holiday, but I can because I'm broke. Right. I, or I see all those chicks on Instagram. And I'm like, oh, that would be better. Right. Right. Because I look after my wife. Right. Yeah. What I'm, what I'm hearing, what I'm taking away from what you're saying right now and some of the points you just made is living in alignment in every area. Right. Because if you're living in alignment um, in your relationship, you know, you're like, okay, I need to be loyal to my wife. I, I'm in this 100%. That's a trait that you want in the other areas, you know, in your business, in your fitness, there's no wavering, right? So it's living in alignment, having those traits in one area and being able to transfer that to the other, other three, right? Is that kind of what you're saying with that? You, you can't, you can't have, you can't have it in one place and not in others. Mm -hmm. If you have it in your fitness, it's going to make it easier for you to have it in, in your money. It's going to be easier for you to have it in your relationships. Obviously, there's going to be mastery of it right? There's going to be levels to it. You, you, you can't just walk straight into it and be like, all of a sudden, hey, just because I'm jacked, I'm, I'm also just going to easily have a lot of money. No, there's stuff that you need to do in each. Just yeah. like if someone has a lot of money and they come to the gym. It's like, yeah, I know what it's going to take, but it's going to take time to, yeah. to have arms like yours, right? So it makes sense that right. it bleeds into every part because you're the common denominator. Yeah. But if people keep the little staying in the little bit self or even never really getting to the levels that they know they're capable of, they'll never discover that. Yeah. There's, there's so many parallels, like you're saying, like there's so many traits that you learn through building a business or even just if you have a regular job, like growing in your career that you can transfer over to like fitness, like, you know, you have that discipline, but it's, you know, it's, it's different, but you've, you've created that discipline in one area. You can transfer those same skills to another one. So I, I completely agree with that. Um, how can someone silence their, their bitch voice? Like you're saying, how can someone work on silencing that in, in creating their, their King voice? Like you're saying, well, you got to do the work, right? Like people, people know what they should be doing. Yeah. And, and this, this is the issue that I see with so many coaches, with so many people that I work with, they know, they know what to do. It's not difficult. They know that they need to go to the gym, do, you know, do five, five sets of bench press, do your arms, do your legs, do. They know that's not difficult, but it's about doing it. It's yeah. in the, it, it's the work that instills the worth, yeah. right? It's, it's you showing up every day. A lot of people, I talk about, I talk about this thing that is sort of not sexy, but it's about your conscience, right? Everyone knows deep down what their conscience is calling them to do. You know, with your clients, what you should be saying, you know, that you should be calling them out. You know, that you should be charging this, you know, that you should be doing this with your kids, that with your wife, this around the house, right? But you don't do it. So then all of a sudden, if once, once you start leaking in one area, it starts, the little boy starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You need to silence it every single day. And the more you work to silence that, the more of a man you become, the more right. of a king you become. And all of a sudden, there's got to be a kind of reaction. So everything else that was holding you back, now you're like, man, I, there's nothing holding me back. I feel I'm allowing myself to be who I want to be online. I'm allowing myself to, to say what needs to be said because I know I look in the mirror, I see a guy that has been showing up consistently and that I give you, I give you an example. So at the gym that I train, there is a, there is a personal trainer who also is starting to become a nutritionist. This guy is more jacked than you. Is a professional sprinter. Like this guy is like far out, insane. I saw him. I'm like, dude, I haven't seen you in a few weeks. You, do you get bigger? It's like, nah, nah, nah. It's all the same. I'm like, dude, but like amazing. Like, right? and this guy is in his fourth year of dietitian or nutritional something like that at, at university. 
Yeah. And I'm like, dude, why don't you put more of that out? He's like, yeah, I really love to bet. I really feel like I'm an imposter because I, I don't have my qualification. Hmm. Now, this guy's in his fourth year, in his final year. And to me, it blows my mind because so many people are held back by this. They need the validation from, uh, from pieces of paper or courses that they've done or the next shiny thing that all of a sudden makes them worthy, right? It's a worthiness thing. That's why you're not allowing yourself to, to actually put yourself out there. And the second thing, it's an egoistic thing because you're just trying to protect yourself and you're making it about you and not about the people that you're trying to fucking help. Yeah. Right. So I said to him, listen, why are you being such a selfish fucking bitch? And he's like, what do you mean? I never thought of it that way. I'm like, dude, you've got the exact body that that chick over there that is 25 kilos overweight would love to have. That bloke over there with, with, a, with you know, his belly hanging over his balls. That's what he wants. Why are you stopping them from achieving what they want because of your own fucking insecurities? Right. Right. So 100%. as coaches, we get, we, and this is, and I'm going to circle back to King Energy in a second, but we get so insecure that we're never enough, that we're never worthy enough to that, man, if I put something out now, people will get it. Or they're going to want this qualification. In 15 years of coaching, no one has ever asked for a single qualification. Right. Not, hey, what courses have you done? No one gives a fuck. You know why? Because the biggest thing that they're looking for is you. Mm -hmm. Are you the person? Now, based on that, Guess what? The only thing that you need in order to succeed in the online space or any any in any business venture, Experience. it's that king energy. Okay. It's that king self that allows you with that certainty and that confidence to say, "Hey, I'm fucking worthy." Because look at how I show up. Look at the energy that I transfer. Look yep. at how I live my life. Look at my body. I don't. That's. I mean, your body is your business card. Yeah. Everybody, like that's the first one, and then how you talk should be your second. Right. So the first one's like, yep, this guy does sell. I know what he sells, right? And then as you start talking, do you have the energy? Do you have the, the authority, the certainty, the right. confidence that it's going to be like, you're my fucking guy, yeah. right? So imposter yeah. syndrome is bullshit. It's, it's just insecurity based upon the ego that comes up if, we don't, if we're not actually doing the work or if we're looking for external validation anywhere there isn't the work. Yeah, I think the ego thing really resonates with me because people think that they're, you know, they're doing it because, um, because they don't have an ego. Like they're like, I'm going to hold back from this. Cause I don't, I don't want to like brag or I don't want to come off as cocky, but when you're, when you're confident, it's coming from, you're doing the right actions to provide value. That's what I believe. So, so I think that the ego thing is that really resonated with me. Um, and, and yeah, the, the confidence really comes from the actions you're taking and the, the confidence comes from being able to keep promises to yourself, right? Like if you say, I want to get fit, if you say, I'm, I'm going to do these actions that are going to build my career. If you say, I'm going to stay loyal to my wife and never waver, you know, it being in alignment with that, that's going to give you so much confidence. So, so that's, that's what kind of resonated with me from the things that you said. Um, that's great. So, yeah. So you know, what's the simplest pathway that you would say to get into an abundance mindset? You know, say if someone is having so, sort of a scarcity mindset or the, the imposter syndrome, like what kind of practices that can they do or what, what can they kind of, you know, whether it's journaling, some sort of mindfulness, you know, just getting into the right mindset to, to feel more abundant and feel like they, you know, they, they can conquer the world, do whatever they, they want to do. Yeah. So I've got two kids. So my, I'm going to tell you what I do. Okay. And then people can adopt it to, to wherever they're at. So I've got two kids. I've got a shitload to do every single day. If I don't wake up at four or before four, three quarter to three, something like that, keep my gym, go for a walk. Um, do I do, I do about 140 push ups a day. Plus I do some gym. I do some burpees. I don't do the push ups and the burpees for, um, for a fitness thing. I do it for more, um, cognitive enhancement, right? right? Because I need to, I need to, um, I want to stay high energy every day. And most people wouldn't understand my level of high energy, right? Um, but the simplest thing is you gotta, you gotta do what you say you're gonna do. Yeah, simple as that, right? So what I would start with people, I would say, I don't care where you're at, do a 20 to 24 hour fast every day. That first, that is gonna blow your freaking tits off, 
right? Most people wouldn't know what that's like. So if you finish eating at 6 p.m., have your first meal at 2, right? Um, most people can do that and they will start to realize a couple of things. One, how much they go to food for emotional um, safety and support and, and just, just comfort, right? Two, they will start to feel edgy. They will start to feel pissed off. They will start to feel frustrated. They will start to get pissed off. And you know what? They need to get angry. This is the truth. People need to get fucking angry about where they're at. Because if they don't get angry about the fact that your business is staying at 7K a month or that you, you've got these love handles, like for me, I got ang angry that I had these love handles all my life that I couldn't get, I couldn't get rid of. I'm like, I don't give a fuck what I have to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fast until I'm going to do 24 hour fast every day. I'm going to run. I'm going to do whatever it takes. It, probably from a fitness point of view, you go like, oh, that's probably not healthy. But get to a point where you go like, I don't give a fuck because I know what I want and I'm going to manage around it and I'm going to adapt my body around it, right? Mm -hmm. So started doing 20 hour fast every day, started eating clean, exercising, push-ups and things change big yeah. time. But it comes down to having a purpose, having a bigger something that really gets you fucking pissed off, right? right? Second, you got to keep your water what you do. And then you just get up earlier. Get if you if you've got kids, that's not an excuse. That's a reason. That's mm -hmm. the reason why I get up early is because I've got kids and I want to take away too much from them, right? So I need I need, but at the same time I need to get my shit done. So you know what? I'm gonna man it up and I'm gonna be like, cool. I'm gonna get up early. And you know what? It's the best thing because it goes one day, two days, five days, seven days, ten days, twenty five days, and you've kept your word. That shit changes you. Right, because now you can look at yourself in the mirror and you can go, I don't give a shit what anyone says about me because I know what I say about me. Yeah. I don't care what the internet says. I don't care what other coaches are doing. I don't care what other businesses are doing because I'm the competition. And if I do this and if I show up and I know I'm at peace. And when I'm at peace, I'm dangerous because I'm, I'm in complete abundance, right? And I'm focusing more to your question about abundance. People want to grow money. They want to get a different body, but all of a sudden they start hating their body and they start hating their, their money, right? And, and so they, they are somewhere else apart from where they're at. That's scarcity because you're saying that what's right now is not good enough. It's not enough, right? So be like, I don't like these love handles. I'm getting rid of them, but I love where I'm at. I'm loving the process. I'm loving the moment that I'm in. I know that that's where I'm going. I know where Kate's body, that's where I'm going, right? But I am right now, I'm enough right now and I'm building on it. Right. Yeah, I think it's just those, the little wins along the way that you can feel confident in and like, you know, not feeling like, right, like you're, you're where you're at and you can see where you want to go and there's like a big gap, you know, just realizing that, not letting that discourage you, but then you're stacking up the wins every single day that's going to build your confidence towards that, right? Yeah. So- um, and we, we really connected on, a, on our initial kind of chat about the, the fasting, because um, I completely agree, like the fasting, the benefits I feel cognitively, like, make me want to fast, even though sometimes it may not even be in line with the, with the physical goals that I have, right? So it, even if I'm trying to put on muscle, sometimes fasting isn't in line with that goal physically. But I just love the way it makes me feel because like you said, you know, it makes me almost like edgy. And it makes me like hungry to get a lot of things done during the day. So I like to do it in the morning. I'm getting a ton of work done, you know, have some coffee and I'm just like focused in. So highly recommend you guys try at least intermittent fasting. This man, Carlo, the Kingmaker goes crazy with it with like 20 hour fasts. Um, I'll probably try that soon uh, and, and just have like one big meal at the end of the day. I, I like the idea of that just to give it a shot. Um, but I, I agree that like the cognitive benefits of fasting, um, I, I've, it's worked for me to, to just keep that fire, keep that edginess. And I know that some of my other clients like it as well to kind of keep them focused during the day while they're working. So I really yeah. like that. Awesome. Yeah, it's, it's incredibly powerful. And it, it's all about the cognitive enhancement. It's all about how the energy that it gives you, the, the, especially if you have a personal brand and you need to show up and you are, you are your business, it's going to help you to get online and, sh and, and project yourself in a completely different way. Right. So, um, and it's, and it's great personal development because what, one, once you're hungry and you're getting edgy, now you have to control your emotions. Now you have to stay yes. busy. Now you have to focus your, your energy and your thoughts to where you actually want 
things to go and what you want to do. I've noticed it makes you not feel like, you, you know, you learn that you don't need food all the time. Like you were saying, you know, sometimes food is just an, an emotional thing or like we stress eat or we just eat out of comfort. We're overfed. We're completely yeah. overfed. Um, yeah. It's um, it's crazy, right? So we, we don't need anywhere near as much food as, as we think, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So it um, allows you to use up all your energy. You have better sleep. I'm taking some good supplements as well. Um, so it's it, it's all it's all part of it. So and, and it gets you into that king energy, into that whether it's a little bit more angry, whether it's a little bit more confident, more certain. You take less bullshit. You take yeah. less bullshit from yourself. Yeah, right. And, and you don't have that fogginess of the because there's an insulin Correct. spike that literally happens from from eating carbs and everything. So you know you may be up and down during the day, but whenever you're fasting, I always know yeah. like I'm I'm like very in line and very focused. Yeah. So yeah, one thing one 100%. thing I wanted to. One thing I wanted to put a pin in on what you said earlier, I wanted to make sure I came back to this is, you know, you kind of made a point about with personal development, sometimes people get that, you know, they get the information in their head, um, but they don't, you use the words, you know, feel it in their heart, in their, in their body, like feel um, what they need to do. And that's what gives them the confidence. Like how does someone, cause like you said, a lot of people know what to do, right? You know, the information is there. We, we live in the information age, like everyone the information is abundant, right? We, everyone can figure out what to do, but I would say like less and less people are actually doing the things that they know they need to be doing. So, you know, how can someone kind of feel it in their heart and, you know, go from just having the information to taking action on it? What's, what's your yeah. mindset on that? Yeah. Uh, the embodiment part is everything like the, the real, the real living it out. Yeah. And to me, like, listen, I'm a very simple kind of person and all my coaching with all my clients, I keep shit simple, right? Yeah. To me, the embodiment isn't going to happen overnight. It's not yes. going to say, hey, can you do this? And, and that's it, you're done. No, it's every day. You're, you're strengthening the muscle. In order to get to the body that you have, it's been years, right? right? For sure. Correct. So it starts with you like not thinking about the shit that needs to happen, just doing it. Right. So if it starts with just get on the floor, do do 140 push ups, doesn't have to be all at once, but do them. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and the way that I do it, I split them up into 20 or 30 blocks. Right. So every time you go from in your head, I know I need to do this. And you put yourself on the floor. All of a sudden, when your hands touch the floor and you're smelling the dust on the floor, your ego's at the door. And every time you, you do that, you start to peel one layer of the old identity back and you build a new one. It's like a, a snake that sheds its skin and the new skin comes in. It's like a, a knight that takes off his armor and puts another armor on. Does yeah. that make sense? It gets a stronger sure. armor. Yeah. It's in the doing. It's simple. People overcomplicate shit. They get in their head and they stay in their head. Yeah. Get out. Get in your hands. Pick, pick some fucking weight up. Pick yep. up some iron, push something, pull something, lift something, get out of your head and magical things begin to happen, right? But then when it comes to, obviously I work with a lot of people in business. So I'm like, dude, pick up your phone, fucking call someone. Pick up the phone, message someone. Instead of scrolling, it, create something, right? Because now you start to apply everything that you know. But then what happens? right? That you need to go through all the stories, all the bullshit, all the beliefs that you have in your head that is stopping you from procrastinating, not doing it. You have to go through the insecurities. You have to go through the self-worth, the, the not enoughness, all of those kind of things. It's actually very simple. It's about going, it's almost like, don't think about it, just do it. Yeah. Right. Literally turn down the volume of your thoughts and like, I don't want to do push-ups right now. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this Turn down that volume, get on the floor, watch what happens. Because then when you get up and you've just done, you've just done 25, 30 push-ups, you've done 25 burpees, what happens to your body? The reaction is now, now your heart is pumping. You're, you're breathing further. You're out of your head, right? Yeah. You, there's more oxygen going around, more blood flowing. With, right. And now you have, a, because you're in a different state, you're in a different emotional frequency. Now you have different thoughts. Yeah. Now, everything that was holding you back, it was hard before. It's not hard before. And it's yeah. not hard now. Yeah. 100%. Everything that was holding you back. Now it's like, well, that thing was holding back. Now I'm here. And it's like, 
you're almost moving too fast for that low frequency, slow frequency thinking and emotions. Now you're over there. Now you're picking up the frequency and everything that comes from, from that level. Right. Yeah. I think a lot of people think the motivation comes and then you have the action, but it's actually the inverse, right? You, you have to have the action that gets you motivated. Like you literally get, right. um, you know, chemical responses in your body that once you take yeah. those actions, you get like a reward and it makes you want to keep going, you know, see what's Correct. next. So Correct. I always the, tell the, the way, the way that I explain this is that, and, and obviously I, I sp speaking with a lot of coaches online, they, there's this cause and effect kind of thing that happens, right? They are waiting for the thing to happen so then they can be right right it's causing it ca ca cause the effect once i have that then i will be once all the things happen then i will be once i have the money i will allow myself to be to be abundant right once i have the body i'll be confident that's bullshit that's not how it happens it's an old model of reality mm -hmm. the model that i teach is i want you to be causing the effect Sure. Right. Because people live by sight and not by faith or trust. So what I teach people to do is I teach you to become the king, to become the success, to become the money, to become the health, the fitness, the, the certainty, all of it. And once you you are that, you will cause the effect of the actual physical things that you want to happen. I like it. I, I completely resonate with that, man. How, how can someone, you know, say someone's feeling like they don't have control, say that they're, they're maybe feeling like they're a victim in life. You know, I've, I've come across people like this before, you know, where they just feel like they can't get things right, you know, things life stacked up against them, you know, and they're, they're kind of being a victim. How can someone create more control in their life and take control of their life? To me, it's simple, right? If, if we keep things simple and just say, okay, are you putting in the work? Like, are you doing the things you need to do? You're in business. Are you, are you posting online? Are you reaching out to people? Are you getting on phone calls? Are you looking after yourself and doing the things despite the result, right? Because life doesn't fucking happen to you. Life happens for you, right? right? Everything is happening for you. In some way, you need to trust, you need to have the mindset that everything is happening for you. Once you shift that, because the way you see the world is the way the world is. The world is only as you see it. If you mm -hmm. see the world as hard, if you see $50,000 as a lot of money, it's going to be a lot of money. Right. But if you see it as peanuts, then it's going to be peanuts, mm -hmm. right? It's depending how you see it. And people live in this bullshit victim mindset that everything poor them, poor me. Oh, this has happened to me. Motherfucker, just... Do the fucking work. Yes. Show up. Disregard the result. Stop focusing again on the ego. Uh, me, me, me. Because that's what the ego is. We we're talking about ego before. Yeah. Ego is is, is self centered. Ego is makes everything about ourselves, right? But every time you're going victim, you shrink. You go back into your little bitch, right? I want to stay my king all the time. A king yeah. doesn't go. Oh, this has happened to me. No. This has happened for me. How am I going to use this? How is this going to benefit me in some way? It has to, because I believe that the universe does everything that it does for me, that everything that has happened in my life, it's happened for me. I was bullied at school. I got made fun. I got, um, I got threatened. I got beat up. It was happening for me. How? My parents beat me up as a kid. They whacked me. It was happening for me. Why? I can go through life like, yeah, my parents beat me up. I was bullied. Um, people said I had a small dick, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Or I can say, you know what? That's happened. Why? Because I prefer the story, Kate, of someone that has been through that and now they're a fucking king. And right. now nothing holds them back. I, love I buy into that story. I don't buy into the other story. I buy into like everything. I can, Kate, I cannot lose. I physically created a life that I cannot lose. Yeah. In my mind, in my, I cannot lose. Right. Everything I, that I go through, it has to make me win. I love that. I'm delusional. But guess what? I'm fucking winning. No, I, I love that. I think using your is insufficiencies as fuel and as thinking of it as like, if I can overcome this, this is going to be the most incredible story, right? So like me being 120 pounds in high school, just being super small, you know, one person can look at that be like, 
man, I was born with bad genetics. I'm just a skinny kid, never going to have a good body. Or it's, you know, this is going to be even more impressive when I put on muscle, put on size and I'm ripped in, in you know, and, and I can teach other people. It becomes a superpower where now I can teach other people that want to accomplish this. You know, I have the experience, you know, that's one example. Or, you know, I got fired from my office job. I could have said, poor me, you know, I'm, I suck, you know, played the victim, say life's against me. But instead, that's when I started this business going all in on online fitness. And it was the best thing that ever happened. Right. So it's, yeah. it's these things, you know, you can take it one way or the other. And I, I think that's super powerful. What you said. I like that a lot. Yeah. So. Yeah. I agree. Awesome, man. Um, so, you know, what's one thing that you would like to challenge the listeners on taking action on, you know, after listening to this, you know, if they, if they can just take one simple thing away from the Kingmaker, what would you like to challenge the listeners to, to start one habit, you know, after listening to this? Yeah. This is the hardest thing that probably anyone will ever do. Right. And it's to go into every single thing that they do, everything completely right. With complete confidence and certainty. Every little thing. You want to say that thing to someone, say it with certainty. You want to do this post online, do it with certainty. Stop being a bitch and just, just being a people pleaser and just going around and jerking these. No, say it. Say it with certainty. Mean what you say. Have confidence. Have certainty in yourself. You want to do that business venture? Do it with confidence. It's going to work. Yeah. It's done. It's already, I know it. That's going to change your life. I love that. I love that. And, and it goes right back to the point you made right before that, which is, you know, say it doesn't work out, you're going to learn so many lessons from it that you'll be able to take to the next thing. Right. And you, but go to the point where there is no option. Like this is yes. going to work. Yep. Don't let any little doubt, any drip of insecurity of doubt of whatever, whatever thoughts you have in your mind that, because now we, now we're going to start to discover your patterns, right? Yep. You, you want to be confident, but then this shit comes in right? That's what you need to overdo. You need to drain the little bitch thoughts, little bitch self yeah. and fill it with complete certainty. Do it the opposite. What, yeah. what is that negative thought that you have or why you can't do it? Make that the reason why it will work. Watch what happens. Watch how much more freedom you start to have, how much more confidence, how much more energy, how much more intensity you have. You stop yeah. being like everyone else that just gets lost in a sea of noise online. I love it. Man, you got so much passion. I love it, man. <laughs> so awesome. So where can people find you? And, and like, what do you want to kind of promote to the listeners? For sure. So you can find me at the Kingmaker Coaching on Instagram. Um, I've got a, I've got actually a free, a new free King Energy training that uh, for people more than happy to give it to your listeners. So if people want to want to find me on Instagram and just say, DM me the word Cade or say, hey, Carl, I found you on Cade's podcast. Yeah. Um, interested in the King Energy uh, training. I'll hand that off to you. Love to serve your listeners. Love to serve you and and help people just to become everything that they can be, the awesome. fullest version of themselves. Awesome, awesome, brother. Well, I really appreciate cool. you coming on, Carlo. This was awesome, man. I'm, I'm fired up, man. I'm just ready to to go into life with certainty and confidence. Just everything I do. So I appreciate you, man. I know the listeners got a lot of value. I know they can feel your energy through this podcast. So I really appreciate you. Guys, go follow the, the Kingmaker at the Kingmaker on Instagram. Um, DMM Cade, get the course and follow this man. Um, I, I know that I'm sure there's a ton of value in this course because I can just feel the value that he's providing to you guys on this podcast. So thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Thank you, Carlo, for being on this podcast. And uh, guys, we got weekly guests, weekly experts coming on the podcast every single week. So make sure to smash the like button, smash subscribe, and see you in the next video. And in the meantime, elevate every day. Thanks, Carlo. Awesome. Peace.